Jamo had two catches for two yards and one drop. So, Adrian, is that a big deal or is it just one game? Is there no concern? I, I'm starting to get a little concerned for sure. I think the Lions tried to force him to football, and he drops. Man, he's got to get it together. Man, he's just he's not good. Um, he's got to be he's got to be better. Um, Dan Campbell said he's not worried about it, but you know, as the season starts going, we start to get worried about his confidence. So this continues. Um, heading to the bye week, then I'm gonna I'm gonna have this at a ten because you could have potentially missed on your last couple first round picks from Jameer Gibbs to. Jack Campbell, who hasn't looked great to Jamo, I know he's coming off injury, but it's got to figure this out, man. You got you to be better because you're looking at guys coming already. Garrett Wilson last year, Chris Olave, um, you know, Nico Collins is looking good finally in Houston, but um, Jackson Smith the Jigga is not looking good in Seattle. But I know it's hard, but he's he's got to figure it out, man, because if they can get tap his potential, there'll be an explosive, unstoppable offense. Yeah, when I tell you I am not worried one single bit about Jamison Williams in this last game, I'm not worried. Um, they clearly were using David Montgomery as the main – David Montgomery and Laporta. I mean, Laporta looks like – Travis Kelsey, probably the best tight end in the league. I mean, Kittle looked good too, but, I mean, Laporta just – he looks – like I think he's only dropped like seven or eight passes. So, um, the guy looks like a stud. Um, J-Mo – I think it was forced, um, but they never – they tried a few times where they wanted to go downfield, and I could see Jared Guff wanting to go. He just couldn't get the ball out in time, whether it was a pass rush coming to him or it just closed up. So there was a few that he missed. Um, they did the screen play, and Marvin Jones just didn't decide to block on that play. So I don't know what happened there. He just kind of – he he went a little too far on the, on the corner. So Jamal probably could have gotten another six or seven yards out of that play. As far as the drop goes, if you watch the replay, the ball does go through his hands. Um, I think it was a footstep situation. If you look two yards in front of him, it was a linebacker barreling down at him. So maybe he got a little scared. That's something you have to get over. But, I mean, he was out for four weeks. Um, he hasn't played much football. He wasn't able to be in the facility. Um, but he had a huge block on the first play for David Montgomery to get out to the outside and score a touchdown. Um Ben Johnson, he had his press conference. Ben, ben Johnson said, no block, no rock. So I think he looks like he's he's fully – I think he's fully – I think he kind of actually matured over this gambling thing, and it made him – he looked a lot better in the press conference. He looked a lot better in this game when it comes to blocking. Before he kind of looked – when he was moving around, he didn't kind of seem like he wanted to be there all that much. The celebration with Monty was huge. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not worried about him. They're going to ease him in when he gets – healthy or he is healthy but when he gets his full snap snap load and and you get him acclimated to downfield throws you open up that offense um i think he's going to be a huge problem for the league